And we're back with Radio Rose, the town's favorite podcast about all goings on in the area. Last episode, I told you guys that I would be driving around the outskirts of town to try to get a feel of the history of this place. When I get back to the studio, I can't wait to show you guys what I found. A sleepy little town like this definitely has stories to tell. Stay tuned. Jeez, it's cold. Oh. Oh. Oh, where am I? Oh, oh. ow, my head. Oh, my feet are cold too. Oh, I need to find some place warm. Oh, oh. why can't I remember anything? Oh. All I can remember is my name. Hey, uh. Are you okay? It's really cold out. Do you want to ride back into town? Yes, thank you. Oh, anything to get out of this cold. Okay, hop in. Oh, thanks for uh, letting me sit down. Uh, Like, my feet were kind of freezing back there. Yeah, I can't help but notice you're not wearing shoes in the middle of winter. Yeah, I really don't remember anything before pulling myself out from the ground, really. The ground? Yeah, it was it was kind of weird. <laughs> I was I felt like I was drowning and everything, and suddenly I just woke up. Right. Um Are you hungry by any chance? Now that you mention it, I'm really hungry. I'm starting to think you're slightly more delusional than usual, Nick. It is freezing out there. And you're seriously not wearing a thicker jacket than that? Is that what you're worried about right now? Well, what else am I supposed to be worried about? My best friend is walking out there with nothing but a flimsy sweater on. Okay, but... Judging by the person I just picked up, I feel a little better about that. He's not wearing shoes, Ashley. I found him outside, walking around aimlessly in the outskirts of town. Oh, well, now that you point that out... Yeah, can can I ask, though, why, why did you bring him in here without at least giving him some shoes? It's kind of unsanitary, don't you think? You think I have spare shoes in my trunk? You have spare shoes at your house, don't you? Look, he seemed like he needed help right away. He looked starving. I hope you're hungry, uh... Um, I'm sorry. I don't think Nick even asked for your name. Uh, what is it? Uh, he didn't ask for my name. Uh, my my name's Uni, and... uh, And thank you, uh, for the... For the burger. Uh, I'm really hungry. You know, I, I... I'm sorry, I don't have any money to, to give you or anything. Nah, don't worry about it. We'll just put it on Nick's tab. I'm sure he'll pay it off, no problem. Put it on my what? Nothing! Uh, Nick, don't take this the wrong way. I love to help out the next person just as much as anybody else, but I really do not have time for this. What's the matter? Uh, uh, okay, you know how we've been hearing, since we've been growing up in this town, all those stories, you know, the things that moms used to tell us so we wouldn't be out too late at night? Like random hitchhikers saying that they crawled out of the ground? uh, uh, The other stories, (laughs) the other ones, uh, I'm starting to believe that maybe there was some truth to it. 